Fuel's gone up, it's extortion, so we're driving with caution. If we're not going far, we won't take the car, we're walking in a winter wonderland. Hello lovelies, how are we? Hope everyone's okay, thank you for all the comments and thoughts. Um, I need to apologise for being a rubbish vlogger yesterday. Um, in that I'm about to tell you everything that happened and there is no footage of any it, any of it. Um, yesterday kind of changed from initial plans. I kind of cut the, sh the short video short yesterday because I was starting to tell you about what we we're doing and then it turned out to be quite different. So, um, yes, sorry, I will explain all. The initial plan was that with three other members of my family, I would be going to Bexhill to the Delaware Pavilion to see the Fisherman's Friends in concert and if you don't know them they're shanty singers and I'll put a link below to a, a YouTube video of theirs so you get a sense of what they'll be like. The phone call I had was to say that one person wasn't able to come and partly because that person wasn't able to come another wasn't able to come so we were down to my middle sister who was going to be staying over last night. I was going to interview her this morning and put her on the vlog. Um, and me. So there was a lot of kind of running around and phone calls. Then, <clears throat> excuse me, my sister had gone over to a neighbour of hers. She's very good friends with this neighbour. And said, do you fancy coming to Bex Hill? Now my sister lives in Southampton, so they're kind of two and a half hours away. I said, do you fancy coming to Bex Hill to see... Fisherman's friends in concert and the neighbour and friend said yeah okay so that was one of the tickets used I was then spending a certain amount of time trying to find someone to use the remaining ticket rang my mate Mandy obviously first port of call um, she didn't fancy it put it on the street whatsapp group no one in the street wanted it I rang the venue to see if they were taking any returns because when we'd booked these tickets it had been quite quite clear close to capacity so I thought it might be that they're accepting returns to um to sell on but they weren't so there was then a site that I could use to try and find a home for it that way nothing doing so so that was sort of taking a bit of time I also wanted to go to the local cash and carry uh, this is the less glamorous part of the story because I essentially run a business as a celebrant. I have a cash and carry card, which is um, means I can buy in bulk, um, like a Costco type of arrangement. And there were some things that my sister wanted. So I needed to get there to get those things for her. They didn't have all of them, but that's, that's what happens. I then was trying to get back in time to do my tech editing course. So what had started out as a fairly leisurely, knew what I was doing all day, everything was calm it didn't end up that way um, <laughs> so got back from the cash and carry did my tech editing course and actually that was great that was a real kind of focus on something other than all this other stuff that was going on so so Bev my sister and her neighbor were coming along all fine and dandy they got a little bit held up um, nothing too major but as soon as they came, rather than sort of sitting down and having a cup of tea, uh, we kind of had to go out because we were getting something to eat before the the show. Got to Bex Hill. I thought, what's going on? Why is this road closed? Not the road we were travelling on, but it was the, I think it was the switching on of the Christmas lights and they had a parade. <laughs> now... As a general rule, I know about local parades because our drumming group has been invited to take part in them. So even if we're not doing them, we kind of know they're happening. But I had no idea this one and it didn't even occur to me to check if anything was going on in Bex Hill yesterday evening. So that meant that it was very busy and that parking uh, was very difficult because people were there who were taking part in the parade and were attending. So it was like, oh my God. So we were driving around all these kind of residential streets and ended up with a 15 minute walk back to the theatre. <laughs> we managed to um, find a restaurant, get something to eat. The parade was actually very short. Um, 
Didn't even get footage of that. <laughs> but we managed to get something to eat. Then we went and saw the show and that was great. Um, like I say, I had intended to uh, interview Bev uh, this morning because she was going to stay overnight. Because um, her neighbour was with her, they went home last night. So they got back about one o'clock this morning. But I did have a quick moment of interviewing them in the theatre, which I'll put in here. Right, so what's your favourite thing about Christmas? Food. Bev? Sitting by the fire doing nothing. And how does that differ from the rest of the year for you? Cheeky b****. I'm normally out doing things. I'm going to have to bleep that. That's OK. <laughs> I'm a cheeky person. <laughs> so what does Christmas mean to you? What does it mean? Family. Mm-hmm. And do you spend it with them all or in session in bits? In sessions. In sessions. <laughs> in sessions is what I was going to say. No, I can vouch for the fact she has a house load. Fair enough. For about four days. At least. Yeah. Eating and drinking. And then they go home and they come back a week later to collect all the presents they've left behind. <laughs> Putting them in bags as they go. Yeah, I can vouch for that. What about you, Bev? What does Christmas mean to you? I'm not with my family. Yeah, we've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> She's reclusive. I, yes. I've become a hermit for the day. Yes. But no, Christmas is about family, which is why I choose to spend it on my own. <laughs> and the dog. We'd just like to remind anyone watching, this is my sister that's yes. answering this question. That's so I'm sorry you have no footage of any of that. And especially being the Delaware Pavilion, which is one of my favourite buildings. And I will find some pictures from their website and put them on here because it's a fabulous building. If you like Art Deco architecture, this is a wonderful place to see. So, yes. If you've ever watched um, the David Suchet Poirot, I think it's the ABC Murders. The B is Bex Hill. And I think it features the Delaware Pavilion. It's just an amazing building. So... Put some pictures in here. Um, I was hoping, you know, my, my initial thought process was, <clears throat> excuse me, driving home from Bex Hill, get Bev to take footage of the Christmas lights. None of that happened. So, sorry. But the concert was good. Everyone is okay. <laughs> Everyone is home safely. It was just not the day we were expecting. But that's okay. That's fine. It's all good. So today, today is a quiet day. There's a quiet day planned. Um, yeah, I've got a bit of work to do because the the rushing around yesterday morning meant there was some work I didn't do. So I've got that to finish. And then sort of general Christmassy stuff. I need to write some cards and just stuff. So, so I should do today's advent. <sighs> These bags are fab actually. I ordered some masks um, in the summer. And they're the sort of um, cowl type masks. And they came individually wrapped in these bags. And I thought, oh, they would make good vlogmas bags. And they did. So we have got... We've got some white. So there's a little bit of woolly DK and some cotton there. And the thing I've told myself to do is play the piano for 10 minutes I haven't played the piano for ages so I shall go and do that I probably won't inflict it on you because I haven't played for ages but it'll be fun and my happy thought or happy memory is Heidi's paws on my knees my little dog <laughs> you all know her she's adorable she weighs about five or six kilograms so she's very little and when she puts her paws on your leg or on your hand, it's so gentle. It's just a lovely feeling. Ah, oh, my little Heidi hi. So, so yes, those are my things for today. I will show you the advent items I made yesterday because I've been making some progress. Uh, the white that I had yesterday, I left in case I wanted to use it for contrast colours. I'm obviously going to have a very white based um advent creation i made the second paper chain loop so that's now attached and i made the second stocking i also started making 
the um, ribbon, for want of a better word, on which they're hanging. I'm not sure why they're hanging in opposite directions, but it doesn't really matter. So all I'm doing with this is I have this yarn, which I had some cones um, of these colours, the red, the green and the gold, and I thought, um, well, red, gold and green just makes me think of Karma Chameleon by Culture Club. But <laughs> it also made me think of Christmas. So I put them together. As you can see, this is a bit crinkly. I had tried to make a Christmas stocking last year. It hadn't gone well. Um, so I unpicked it and uh, I'm using it for this. And all I'm doing with this is foundation do uh, trebles. So double crochet U US. That's the second time in two days I've nearly done that wrong. I did do it wrong yesterday. And as I'm making the loop, I'm hooking into the back of the heel of the stocking. I am aware there's a bit of a colour clash going on, but I've no idea what the rest of the colours are for these um, stockings. As they're scraps from my knitting, they are probably blues, pinks, purples, that end of the the colour spectrum, because that tends to be where I do a lot of knitting. But we'll see. It's fine. It's fine. And the pink that was left over, just put onto the granny square. So. I tend to do my granny squares turning when I get to the end of the round, which is why you end up with these sort of blocks of colour. But um, it's for cats in the RSPCA Rescue Centre, so I don't think they're going to worry about the aesthetics. Although they're cats, they might. Cats are fussy. I like cats, I'm not anti-cat. But cats can be pickier than dogs, I feel. So. so those are the things that I made yesterday, and there's some white yarn that I will be using today. I think there's quite a bit of that, actually, so... This blanket may have a quite a fair bit added to it. Have a good day, everyone. And I hope everyone is well. Thanks all.